You're just like Ricky Speed. Check out his signature move. <laughs> wow! <laughs> You're like so athletically challenged. And not, it's a hard trick. Don't do that! Do what? Littering, it's not cool. <laughs> what would you know about being cool? I know that Ricky Speed wouldn't litter. He's like a loser. The only real cool skater is Hey Goblin. He's so out of this world, and he doesn't care about stuff like that. How come I never heard of him? Duh, like you're not cool enough. If being cool means you have to litter, count me out. Like I would ever consider counting you in. And if you want to see cool, then stand back. This is a trick Hey Goblin taught me. I'd say see you later, but I don't want to. Yeah? Well, pick up your trash. You do it. We should get Ricky to come to town. I'm sure he's a busy guy, Maritza. He's got his skater tours and the charity stuff he does. We'll write a letter. Better yet, we'll have people sign a petition to get him to come to town as a charity thing. It can be a cleanup Greendale event. I think that's a great idea, Maritza. Ricky is so cool, and he does lots of benefits and stuff. And I can have my aunts help us send the letter. They have a way of getting things noticed. Then let's do it! Smells good. Okay, next one. Dear Mr. Speed, my friends and I, blah, 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 biggest fans. Pollution problem? Aaron, Crease, cancel Rio. I've got to make an appearance in Greendale. I don't know where it is. That's what you're for. This town needs my help. A way cool famous skater guy who can help stop litter and pollution. But you too. Just like my new friends, Sabrina and Maritza. Is that our, head, our names? He's so awesome, Sabrina. He's double, triple, quadruple awesome. Girls, to show my appreciation for getting me out here to help with such a good cause, I'm gonna teach you how to ride the half pipe. Hey, McGoblin wouldn't care about trash. He'd just want to skate. Rats, I'm better than they are. Who wants to go first? I think that Maritza should. Without her, you wouldn't be here. It was all her idea. Well, okay then. Put on your helmet and let's rock. how a little more wind shakes things up. Wind from the night, wind from the day. Pick up the pace, blow Maritza away! You're doing great! Ready to go again? Are you kidding me? Hey, Sabrina, watch me! Her. Summer breeze, knock knees. No, that won't work. Um, up and over, four leaf clover. Arrgh! Why did Maritza have to mess this up? Let this work, please. Marita 
Lisa is in serious trouble, send Ricky to help her on the double. Maritza, I never saw anyone do a trick like that. That was so totally cool. Thanks, Ricky. Neither have I. Oh, man, I'm so glad you're okay. Nice misuse of your powers, Smellman. I did it to save Maritza, and you should be happy. Otherwise, you'd have a lot of explaining to do to Mr. Snipe about the sudden wind that crept up. It was an accident. I suppose this trash was, too. <laughs> What's the big deal? It's just some papers and stuff. About a hundred million papers and stuff. Hey, Sabrina, you get us another volunteer to help clean up this place? I know you don't need me. Well, for sure. We're all sharing this planet, so we gotta pitch in. Keep it clean. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have some fun with a real skater, Hema Goblin. I've been personally invited by someone very powerful to attend his skateboarding event. Never heard of him. I'm sure he's never heard of you, either. Aren't you forgetting something? I'll stop the wind, but the rest is up to you. Later, Smellman. Olivia, thanks for inviting me. Well, Hema Goblin said, Olivia, come to my skate show and bring a friend. So Natch, I thought of you. Wow, thanks. I didn't think that we were really good friends back when I lived here. Sure we were. I mean, you sort of picked on me a lot and said I was a really lousy witch, but hey, friends do that, right? Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey! Wow! Oh, this is my favorite. I, I taught him this trick. Oh, it's so cool. So anti-establishment. Clean up your room. Pick up after yourself. Wash your hands before you eat. Brush your teeth after every meal. Wow. Olivia, you're like a lot cooler than I remember. <laughs> Awesome work, guys. Maritza, your idea to have Ricky help us out was genius. I do a lot of these events, but this one was by far the coolest. Your moves on the board were out there. I, I want to give you something to show my appreciation. <gasps> Remember, it's easier taking care of your world in the first place than trying to fix stuff after you mess it up. So, do you want to meet Hema Goblin? Do I? That would be so cool. Okay, but you have to let me hold your wand. He is kind of leery of witches he doesn't know. My wand? No way. Okay. Well, maybe we can put some sort of protection spell on you. Gosh, I wonder if you could do it. What? I could do it in my sleep. You are the lousy witch, not me. Right, sure. Maybe you better try one on me first, just to be safe. Okay, how about a spell that protects me from... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> how about toxic waste? Whatever. Create a major spell post-haste. Protect Olivia from toxic waste. Allow no other to have a shield when the toxic waste is at last revealed. So how are we going to know if this spell works? Not that I doubt it would. Oh, we'll find a way. Look, I can take care of myself. Goblins don't scare me. That's right, you're Cassandra. Come on, help me with these. What are those? Part of Hay's big finale. Help me get them to him. One at a time. One at a time. You'll all get my autograph. Don't worry. Hey, hey. This is Cassandra, the witch I was telling you about. The witch with attitude. Cool. Hey, McGoblin, all Netherworld Pro Skater. 
I'm Cassandra, Enchantress niece. I know. Thanks for helping. Well, what exactly are you going to do with this stuff? It's a really cool skate show. Lots of different types of canisters and lots of colors. They're sort of like flares, but they really trash the place. Cool. You want one of your own? Yeah. Well, don't use it until I give you the word. On my cue, this place won't know what hit it. You guys, take a couple and skate around, and we'll really change the color of the netherworld. Hello, netherworld, goblin horde. Today, I have a special treat for you. A special show that will rock the netherworld. Follow me and do what I do. Sabrina, I need to speak to you. Alone. Excuse us, please, Maritza. Is everything okay? I don't know, Sabrina. I got an urgent message from a friend in the netherworld. It seems the magic is dying. How? I I'm getting to that. A goblin skateboarder has used some sort of pollution that affects only witches and warlocks. He's trying to take over the netherworld. Oh no, Cassandra's there. If someone doesn't get there and stop it, the netherworld will be gone, and so will she. I have to go get her. Impossible. The pollution is crippling all witches and warlocks. For once, I think being a half-witch is going to be an advantage. If this pollution only harms witches and warlocks, then maybe I'll be okay. But Sabrina, I can't send you there alone. Mr. Snipe and I can't go. I've got it! Maritza can come with me. She's all mortal, and if there's pollution there, she'll know what to do with it. Maybe. It's our only option, Miss Magruni. Okay, we'll do it just this once. But I'll use a return to sender spell to bring you back just in case you run into trouble. Magic on this end won't be affected. I'll never forget this until the day I die. Ricky Speed giving me this necklace. <sighs> Maybe I can grow up to be Mrs. Ricky Speed. Well, I want to give you something special too, for being my best friend. It's called a return to sender bracelet. Wherever we are, we'll always come home again. Wow! Oh, thanks, Sabrina. It's amazing. All this and a sleepover? I am so excited. I hope I'll be able to sleep tonight. I can help with that. Starlight, star bright, bring Maritza to the netherworld through the sleep of the night. <sighs> wow, I am suddenly really tired. I hope I dream of Freaky. You'll dream, but it won't be of Ricky. <laughs> Sabrina, what are you doing here? I'm in your dream to help you solve this world's pollution problem. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that Cassandra? What a weird dream. Ow! Stop that! Who said that? I did, you lame brain. That's Cassandra, all right. Of course it's me. Do something! We're trying. What happened? Why is everyone a statue? Everyone's not a statue, just witches and warlocks. The goblins used some sort of chemical to turn us into stone. Goblins! Witches! Oh, yeah. This is just a dream. Bring on the goblins! Come on, Sabrina. Let's go find this goblin thingies. Maritza, I think we might want to... Oh, never mind. We'll find them all right. Mm. 
No one can call me a lousy witch anymore. Ugh. I will be the ruler of the netherworld. I thought you said we would. Oh, yeah, of course. You told me that the magical creatures were trying to get rid of us, and the only way to stop it was to stop them first. Which is what we did, hey. Can you help me move these? They're heavy. How come you have magic and I don't? Not that I'm jealous, but it's my dream, you know. I just do, and if you haven't realized it yet, the reason we're here is to figure out how to stop this pollution that's killing the magic. What's this? Let me see. Ow! <gasps> I think we found the source of the pollution. I hope I still have my magic. Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. I need a chocolate banana Sunday. Oh no, it's crippling my magic. Maritza, you've got to help me. Hey, we can find the coolest skater here and do a cleanup festival just like back home. We clean up this pollution and everything is back to normal. Take them! What are you doing? I've got orders from Queen Olivia to hold all witches and warlocks that weren't turned to stone. Who is Queen Olivia? I am. <gasps> What's going on here? This is my dream. I want this to stop now. I know a good way to stop it. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Oh no, nothing happened to her. She must be a really powerful witch. Throw them into the pond of toxic waste. Of course, my queen. Hey, wait a minute. That's a Ricky Speed skateboard necklace. That's right. And he gave it to me himself for helping clean up our town. I love Ricky Speed. I've wanted to be like him since I was this big. Well, Ricky wouldn't think this is very cool. All this trash and using pollution to take over the netherworld. I only did it because Olivia said. Queen Olivia. Queen Olivia said that the magic creatures wanted to get rid of us, so we should get rid of them first. And you believe that? Of course he did, because it's the truth. Then how come you're still around? Because I'm... I, I, I'm on their side, and I'm really a goblin. Well, I've always felt like one. All these witches never liked me. No one is liked all the time, but that doesn't give you an excuse to pollute the world. Well, none of that matters now, because Hay is going to throw you into the toxic waste pond. You lied to me! I told you what you wanted to hear. You've destroyed your world. Only the magic creatures are hurt now. But how long will it be before you goblin-looking thingies join them? I don't care about any of that, and neither does Hay, if he knows what's good for him. Ricky Speed would never trash his world. I can't do it. Me and the goblins, we'll help you clean this place up. It's probably not too late to reverse the effects. Well then, I guess I'll have to turn you all into stone. Oh, my magic's coming back. What was that spell I learned in the gray area? Oh yeah, we're rubber and you're glue. It bounces off us and sticks on you. Oh no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> It worked. Well, sort of. I'm sorry about what I did here. If you'll forgive me, I'll get all my goblin fans to help us clean this place up. Thanks, Hay. My fingers. Looks like the effects will slowly wear off. That means the netherworld will come back to normal soon. Man, how do you know all this stuff? I know I'm supposed to say thanks, so, well, thanks. Be quiet, you'll wake up Maritza. As if, you can't even take my apology. I'm out of here. Sabrina, I just had the craziest dream. Bye.